Hello. Hi. Um, I just had a question I was wondering if someone could help me with. Yeah. Uh, do you have a minute? Yes, I do. Okay. Well, I have talked to some witnesses at the carts. They have these uh, carts with yeah. their magazines. and um, Down in Chile, uh, downtown Chile? Oh, no. I'm I'm not, like, right from there. But um, anyways, okay. um, I I've been interested in the history of the organization, so I was reading some things on the website, jw.org. Uh-huh. And they have a book that tells about the history. It's called Jehovah's Witnesses, Proclaimers of God's Kingdom. Um, did you ever okay. see that? Yes. Did you read it? Um, yeah, a long time ago. Oh, I okay. It, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. It, I don't think it's, is it that old or? Well, I don't know exactly. Well, it's about the history, so it couldn't really become yeah, outdated or I mean, anything. It's it's just yeah. supposed to be historical facts. But um, anyways, well, well, this guy, they had a leader named Rutherford, and he taught from 1920 through 1925 um, that these Bible people were going to come live in San Diego in 1925. Uh-huh. So, um, and he was preaching um, very famous Thing, millions now living will never die. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Which, which, um, there couldn't possibly be millions of people living from that time. So anyway, he was preaching a false kind of message. And, um, and anyways, I'm not in the organization. So can you help me understand, like, the way they word this when they're talking about it? And which, which is such a huge embarrassment. Um, they put a positive. They make it into a, a, a fine thing. It says here, right here, it says, What an exciting message they proclaimed. Millions now living will never die. Okay. So, <laughs> I guess it was exciting, but it was false. That's how most people would understand it. Why, why, do they, why are they kind of, um, is that okay to do that? He said, this book says, what an exciting message they proclaimed. Millions now living will never die. It, okay. It's an embarrassment. I mean, it's a, it was, he was totally preaching this for, 19, for five years, 1920 through 1925. It even says here, from 1920 to 1925, the same subject was featured again and again around the world. In public meetings in all areas where speakers were available. Right. Well, and that was a Bible truth that he learned from the Bible that... He, he learned that from the Bible? He, you learn false things from the Bible? Is that what you mean? I mean, I don't understand your point. No, the Bible does teach that we still live forever. Uh, that's not, no, that's not what he meant. He was saying, you know, the end. He's was, he was talking about the end. He, he didn't mean spiritually. He didn't mean spiritual eternal life. No, basically, uh, living forever. What? So um, you're cutting out a little bit. Let me let me just turn around and see if that's better. Okay. I'm cutting out a little bit. Okay. That's is that better? Yeah. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. So basically, I that's what he was basing that statement off of. And I'm sure that there's a scriptural reference. So based off Psalm 37, 10 and 11, or, or verse 11, where it says, um, just a little while longer and the wicks will be no more. You will look at where they were, and they will not be there. But the meek will possess the earth, and they will find their explicit delight in the abundance of so, um, so you think then, that justifies false prophesying? I'm, I'm and not. And then here in verse 29, it says the right will possess the earth and they uh-huh. will live forever on it. Yeah, those don't speak to him 
per, making that prediction for five years. And the problem with it is, is that this other thing they said in the Watchtower in 1922, during that time, he was they were preaching that, as it says, that exciting message. They said, this chronology is not of man, but from God, being div- of divine origin and divinely corroborated. It is absolutely and unqualifiedly correct. So do you know what? When someone says something is of divine origin, do you know what they're claiming about their interpretation? That it's from God. Right. Was it from God? If it's from the Bible. No, 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 no. Was it from God? Was his interpretation and his dates from God? Well, you know, I was, without having all this, Uh I don't, I, I don't want to argue with you about it. Like, oh, I don't either. I'm just trying to understand why it's so exciting in the Proclaimers book. <laughs> it's kind of like, you know, the pharaohs of Egypt. Like, you can't read about everything that actually happened. Or they they don't talk about their uh, military defeats. You know, they, they expunged things from history or put a spin on it. And for someone outside to read that. Yeah. You're, you're just going, what? <laughs> Was Russell's yeah. predictions for 1914 wonderful, too? Which they were wrong. Um, you know, 1975, this generation. Well, is that exciting, too? Is it just to generate excitement no matter what you say? No, that's definitely not what it's meant to do. Right. It's, but. It's, it's research in the Bible, so... I can understand if you just read something without, like, starting with the basics of where they put the research, but that's kind of, instead of just reading something like that, going starting with the basics of the Bible. Well, you know, I have to test the prophets, test the spirits to see whether they are from God. And Jesus even said, beware of false prophets. And Deuteronomy 18 says, don't follow those who say they speak for God And predict things that don't happen. You know, Jehovah specifically gives us a test of how to discern the real deal. And, you know, they've proved time and time again, they they just keep giving false dates. And say it's from, you know that they say it's divine origin. It's from Jehovah. They're God's mouthpiece, God's only channel. So I'm not seeing how that all fits together. And you said it's on the website. What? You've been on our website? Yeah, that's where I saw that from the Proclaimers book. Okay. Um, yeah, well, there's a lot of information on what we believe, why we believe it. So. Why do uh, you? Why, why do you believe they're God's only channel in light of the history? I'm not sure what. Who, who are you saying? Is, what, I'm not sure of this. What? I'm not sure you're, I don't understand, I understand your question, but was it again? Well, you affirm by being a Jehovah's Witness that they are God's only channel of truth on earth. That's a key doctrine that they have. The faithful slave, the, oh. yeah, they say that the direction comes from Jehovah to Jesus to them. And they've always said that from the beginning. So, yeah. what, what, in the light of their history, what, what would convince you that that's true and not just something they're saying? Well, that's a good question. Um, we have... Can I um, do a little research and call you back? Oh, absolutely. Do, is the number showing up or... No, I don't have it. Let me get, let me get a pen. Oh. Do you only research from JW.org? No. Oh, good. Okay. Because I'd li- there's some really great things we could discuss on JWFacts.com. Oh, okay. And they have a lot of references from the literature that you could see. Okay. So what's your phone number? Dean. What's your name? Amy. Oh, pretty. Okay. Great. Okay. Well, I'll um, you'll call back and... Cool. From there. Okay, sounds good. Th- thanks for talking to me. You're welcome. Okay, God bless. Bye. Oh, King Hall. Oh, hi. Um, I just have a question. I was wondering if someone could help me with. Sure. Um, well, do you have a minute? 
Yeah. Okay. It's. I, I was researching deep into the blood doctrine, like the history and the rationale for it, because I, I heard about that poor woman who died in Canada, that Jehovah's Witness. Did you hear about that? No. Yeah, she was a hemorrhaging after childbirth. It was just her first baby. It was so sad. Mm. But, um, yeah, because she was following that, that point of view. Um, I was just wondering about, like, what about all the Jehovah's Witnesses who who were in the organization when um, it was allowed? Because there's other publications that say, like, you can't go to paradise and all that kind of stuff. Even your baby probably can't if you give your baby a blood transfusion, um, you know, and be disfellowshipped and all this stuff. So, I mean, could someone go to paradise before they made that point of view, the Jehovah's well, Witnesses it's that not, did, it's, did it's, take it's, blood. It's more, it's more complicated, uh, you know, than just saying, uh, you know, something uh, of that nature. You know, basically. Uh, well, the reason I'm saying it that way is because I've read about it as I was researching what the publications had said previously. So they did yeah. make paradise. They did put that on the table in connection with that issue. I'm not. I'm not pulling that out of thin air. I'm just going by what they yeah. were teaching. So I was just wondering. Well, probably, uh, probably many, uh, you know, many years ago, uh, that could have been uh, where they get a better understanding of what it meant. Uh, so you know, you know, very rare do you see anything like that ever happen. Oh, not really. Have, I've seen it. I've heard of it regularly in the news. Actually, yeah. we yeah. have basically changed the uh, changed the whole perspective of blood transfusions basically because a lot of hospitals now don't like to do blood transfusions and if it's an emergency uh, if the court order comes in then uh, it, it still can it still can happen where a child will take uh, blood transfusions mm -hmm. that doesn't disqualify them for uh, not entering we call it's not paradise it's uh, an earthly paradise if they should die and a resurrection should happen, uh, they would be in, they would be here on the earth anyway, uh, you know, under God's rulership in the kingdom which Jesus Christ would rule. So, How, what, precipi follow, what precipitated the, the uh, change uh, in the year two thousand? What was the ba do you know what the basis of it was after prohibiting blood fractions and saying that's just as bad? Uh, what, yeah, hold on a second. Yeah, hold yeah. on a second. Okay, so if you you know uh, you're you're asking me a question off the top of my head mm, where okay. uh, I'm ready to leave the kingdom hall, uh, if, you know what you should do is go on jw.org. Yeah, they just told about the changes on there um, in the year 2000. They didn't explain right. so what Bible answer, verses. It doesn't. It doesn't it really say anything. It should answer all your it questions. It doesn't. It doesn't. Well, so well, I was just wondering what, why you guys accept so, it. With I mean, what is the Bible verses that says what fractions you can have? The, the fractions is is uh, the only thing that you have to do is research it. Did you, did you look at the uh, the video with uh, about blood fractions? Yeah, yeah. I don't. They didn't give any Bible verses about it. And you know, when they were teaching that it was like a good thing, um, you know, they they it was the same time that that Fred Fran said in court that um, God was the editor of the publications. So it's difficult to say just new light, you know. I mean, if God was the editor of the publications, here's a little story in 1940 about how wonderful it was that a woman was saved with a blood transfusion. That would be yeah. in Constellation 1940. It was the same yeah. time that Fred Fran said um, God was the editor of the magazine. Yeah, well, hmm. you know, so you both of those too that not even the apostles knew exactly um, everything until it was disclosed to them by the Holy Spirit how things changed. Well, that's an, that's an place. irrelevant comment because so, they didn't teach things about like details of medical procedures 
and they didn't give dates either. So that's just a whole. They didn't. They didn't teach yeah. false so, things. Uh, so say uh, they were inspired. The, so what is the what is the reason for the call though? I, I just mean, wanted to see if you you had any more um, insight on, you know. Well, it, it w- I couldn't explain it more than I than than the than the website would oh, explain it to you. Oh. There's a lot more that you could research. I, I have. It's just completely inadequate. It do- really does not explain how they can claim. Um, you yeah, know, I understand what you. Yeah. I understand what you're. I understand what you're. 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 You're getting to. Did they ever apologize so, to the people who died from not taking fractions? You know, I don't see that and, there. And 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 and, and the the, the uh, and you're trying to get for me to tell you some of the things that uh, you would always want to debate with me about. There was no reason for a call. Uh, at a kingdom hall where you were trying to find out some some information that yeah, would benefit wanted... you, you were just trying to find out how you might be able to try to figure out how to debate with me about really? something. Really? Wow. So that's not really the right the right thing to do. I think so it is because I'm a co- because I've seen so those again, deaths. Goes, I've seen the those deaths. That I've you seen need those... to know is on yeah, the JW.org yeah. It's not site. adequate. So, I've seen those deaths yes, in the news. Yes, it is. It's well adequate. Yeah. You just check with all the other, yeah. uh, the, all of your medical doctors. I'm a concern. I'm, I have a right thing. to be concerned about it because they, hello? Thank you for calling. You've reached the Jehovah's Witnesses Kingdom Hall located at 301 Burl Street in Redondo Beach, 90278. We have two midweek meetings. One is Tuesday evening at 7.30 p.m. and the other is Thursday evening at 7.30 p.m. We have two weekend meetings that consist of a public talk and a watchtower study. On Sunday, the first one is at 10 a.m., and the second one is at 1 p.m. When you send the brief message, Hi, I was just calling to let you know that there's going to be a special documentary on television about Jehovah's Witnesses on the Oxygen Cable Channel. That will be February 8th and 9th in the evening. Um, here's a little um, thing I found that tells about it. It says that um, alleged sex abuse of children within the Jehovah's Witnesses has long been in the headlines. In 2016, an investigation in Australia found that they had logged allegations. Hello? Hello? 